Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can embed a Lino page into a blog post or other web page. Lino is a nice alternative to Padlet. I was asked about it this morning and I just want to show you a little bit about how it works. So I'm signed into my account here and much like Padlet, you can go in and create a new canvas. Let's call this one you know, Sample Canvas 10. You can choose your background. I'll just use this brown background there. And you can make this private or public. All right, for now, I'll just make it public for this demonstration. And let's create a canvas. And now people can add notes to it. They can also add pictures, click over here, you can upload a photo if they'd like. And you can move those notes around. Now, if you want to include this in a blog post or in a web page, just click on the little information icon that appears near the title of your canvas. And now you can get the embed code. So you grab that embed code and go to the blogging platform that you, you use. In this case, I'm going to use Blogger. I'll click New Post. Just say Sample Lino Canvas. Paste in that code and publish. And when I publish it, we'll see right there we now have that sample canvas and folks can even go in and add a note, add a picture right from this platform. Now obviously it's cut off a little bit here so if you have a blog that has a small column you're going to need to adjust this code here and make your width instead of 640 in this case let's change it to something like 560 and update it now let's refresh that page and we see it now fits in a little bit more and so we'll continue to adjust that width code right there until it fits and displays the way that we want it to look. Or let's refresh that one more time and we're getting closer and actually we have it all at the right size now. So that's Lino. You can find it at linoit.com. Nice alternative to Padlet for creating a sticky note board. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.